Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Cheryl. And we're the Coles. Welcome to our channel, Bent Guy 516. This year, we're going to be traveling through the different parks in Southern Ontario. We're from Southern Ontario, and we've been spending time in the provincial parks our entire lives. So this year, the parks we're going to go to are... Point Farms, Inver Huron, Awenda, Arrowhead, Mara, Hog Lake and Algonquin Park, and McGregor Point. So we're going to do a little bit of a review of each park. We're going to show you the pros and cons as we see it. At the end of each video, we're going to do a summary. We're going to call it Cole's Notes because our last name is Cole's. Come along for the ride. We're heading out today for our very first camping trip of the year. We are heading to Point Farms Provincial Park for the Victoria Day long weekend. We've got a couple things to pack up, hook up the trailer, and then we are on our way. Can we get a map so we know where we're going? Got a map. What site do we have? 119. 119, cool. Point Farms is one of the smaller parks in Ontario. Um, it has 130 electric sites, 80 non electric sites. The uh, electric are 30 amp and 15 amp. It's about three kilometers from the town of Godrich. Uh, Godrich is a beautiful little town. Um, you go check that out. The way the town is, it's laid out like a, a wagon wheel. Right in the very center is the courthouse and I believe city offices and there's a circle around that with all nice little shops. Great place to get some ice cream and then it kind of expands out from there. Uh, Godrich also has several beaches, very nice beaches. And along the beach, there's uh, a workout routine, so you can start at one end of the beach, uh, do an exercise, uh, jog down to the next spot. There's an exercise spot to do that there. Uh, jog down to the next one, do another exercise. So they have these exercises laid out all along the way. The park is situated on a bluff uh, above Lake Huron, so you go down uh, just a little over a hundred stairs in order to get to the beach. They have a beautiful dog beach and the regular beach normally is also very nice but uh, this year the water is so high that there's really no beach left at all. We're here on the Victoria Day long weekend in May. Uh, the weekend is also known as the May 2-4. 2-4 is slang for uh, a case of beer in Canada, 24 bottles of beer in a case. Everybody calls it a 2-4. And as this is the unofficial opening of the summer season uh, in the past and still somewhat today, it tends to be a, a bit of a party. Uh, what the parks have done because of that is in all southern Ontario there is an alcohol ban at all provincial parks. They're doing that to discourage the partying. This park is a smaller one. It doesn't have that uh, much of an issue with any rowdyism or drinking. Uh, we have stayed at Pinery before on the May 2-4 weekend, and Pinery is a very large park. And uh, even with the alcohol ban, it turns into a big drunken fest when you get into the non-electric sites. You get all the young people coming out with their tents and their booze and having a, a real big party. 
The park is situated on a bluff, so to get down to the beach, you have to go down some stairs, or you can take the road, which is a bit of a windy road. The stairs, there's a lot, but most people can do them, no problem. Uh, if you have mobility issues, you're going to want to take the road. Stairs, put 100 stairs. Here they are. It's a lot easier going down than it is going up. What happened, Cheryl? Gone. The beach is gone. <laughs> so this is the beach at Point Farms. We were here two years ago and this was a big beautiful beach. But this year beach is gone. The water in Lake Huron is so high, it's just gone. I'll uh, throw in some footage of what the beach used to look like, because this was a gorgeous beach. playground here right next to the comfort station. The comfort station is fairly new. It's in good shape. And uh, we can have a look at the showers here. Lots of showers. They're clean. The cleaners are actually here right now. They're about to clean it again. And it's in pretty good shape. So they took take good care of this place. Here we are. Going for a little hike on the trail. This is the old farm trail. Yep. We're going to see how muddy it is. Water's been pretty high. It's been pretty muddy around here. We're gonna see how muddy it is on this trail. The place is grown all wide. Cause I don't know if it'll be enough. Or if it's hey, is it on deck? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh the us, But let's not go there. You got me thinking, whoa. Gonna check out the park office. It's a bit of a store too. No real camping supplies to get, but you can get t-shirts and things like that. So we'll have a look. of our trip to Point Farms. Uh, I can see that the water level has already gone down considerably. We're getting a bit more of a beach now. If you have a look here, you can see where all the uh, stuff is washed up on shore. So we gained a fair bit of beach. It happens to be a beautiful morning. I can definitely see some people heading to the beach today. Uh, it's currently about 18 degrees Celsius which, you know, for most people isn't a nice beach day, but for us hardy Canadians in the beginning of the season, that's a beach day. This park is ideal if you're uh, just gonna be spending a, a weekend. I don't see it as the type of place you'd wanna spend a week or two weeks. So there's not a lot to do here. Uh, it has about six kilometers of hiking trails. So, you know, that's certainly done in a day. This is the 
area where you want to come to the beach. So if you come to Point Farms, the water being high like this, this is the area you want to come because you actually do get a beach here. It's still early in the season, so it's pretty messy. And as the water goes down, this beach will get even nicer and get cleaned up for a bit. Hiking a trail along the beach here. Cause I've climbed higher than I could dream of. Now you're sitting trail and we're at the uh, north end of the park near the group camping and uh, there's another set of stairs let's count how many we have here one two three four five six And 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 32, 33, 134. I'm getting too old for this. Because I'm up higher than planes could take me. I have acquired everything I need. You set me up into emotion. There are some group campsites at Point Farms. They're basically some big open grassy fields. Uh, the comfort stations are some sinks and some vault toilets. Uh, they definitely look like the original group sites, not with the modern amenities at all. It'd be okay if you're a scout group, something like that, where everybody's camping in tents and learning to rough it a little bit. We have the whole family together now. We got Brian, Allie, Amy just arrived, she's joining us now, and Cheryl Ann, and Kingston. I deal with them one at a time. I'm holding my head up. You give a little, you give a little, but you're giving me just what I need. 116, 117, 118, 119. 120, 121. Whew. We did it, Cheryl. Okay, we're out of sheep. Okay, we're heading to Godrich. It's about three kilometers away. We're just gonna check out the town and get some ice cream there. And what were you saying about, oh, about the, the jail? jail? Kelly said two nights a week they do like reenactments. Like they have actual prisoners. Oh really? Yeah, she said it's really neat to see that we should see. So this is an old jail that's long closed down. Yeah, we walk by it or walk parked there at the one time, remember? Yep. Go in here, Cheryl.
popcorn now. Put it on the open fire, it'll start popping. We normally have uh, oven mitts that go up to about there. We can't find them right now, so we're gonna say goodbye to all my uh, farm hairs. <laughs> yes, once this is done popping, we need to dump it right away. Is it burning the line? Yeah. Okay, we're doing our third batch of popcorn. It started to rain. I'm wearing glasses because my eyes were burning. I've got my assistant here, Celia. She's uh, holding an umbrella for me. It's starting to pop. i got to shake. Okay, okay, now you can set it down, and since you're the shakers, you get to sample it now before anybody else. How is it? Yeah, it's good. So we had a major downpour here. And uh, tonight's the night we decided that we're gonna be cooking over the fire, doing our campfire pizzas, high iron pizzas. So we managed to keep the fire going. And uh, it's not too bad. I made a little space in it so that we had some hot coals there so we can cook. So Brian tried his first one and let's look at Brian's and that's it right there it's a piece of charcoal right now we might put that back in the fire in order to keep the fire going better as it is charcoal and Amy also did that I was listening to Brian yep oh and there's Amy's right down there so we're gonna try to do some more and apparently Brian does know what lengthwise means, so... <laughs> I should point out that Amy's 24, Brian's 22, and Allison's 20. So what does it look like, Brian? Oh, you haven't started. You're just starting it now. Let's see Amy's. Oh my god. Oh my god. She can't open it. She's somewhat feeble. I smell burnt iron? stuff. I hope that's Brian still. <laughs> well, that's no, perfect. That no. side's perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, damn it. Not again. Again? Amy, you have one extra piece of bread. The one side's perfect. This one's just stuck. Yeah. Oh, it's smoking. Can you even have my raincoat? It's fine. It's it, I don't think that was buttered. Yeah, it was. You can see the butter. Okay. Allison, what are you doing here? I'm going to fold the eggs. What's in the bags? Popcorn and M&Ms and Swedish berries and chocolate covered almonds. Maybe, hang on. Let me and what are we going to do with them? Hand them out to our friends. Nice. Let's have a look in these bags. Okay, we're all done at Point Farms. Head to the dump station. Everybody had fun? Gotta love the dump station. We just finished up at the dump station. There's one dump station, there's two lines. Uh, so there's one spot in each line for dumping, and uh, in the same line, there's a spot for filling up with potable water. It is the end of the long weekend, so it's expected to be very busy at the dump station. Uh, but we didn't do too badly. There was uh, two people dumping and then two people in front of us And we got through fairly quickly. Everybody was courteous and quick and that's what you need to do at the end of a long weekend So ladies anything uh, You think you'd like to mention about Point Farms and a uh, final thoughts on it? Nice little gem Not too busy Close to Godridge. We always go to Godridge center block. And drive down, check out the beach, and get ice cream. And the weather? Yeah, all kinds of weather, which is fine. All kinds of weather. It's good to be prepared and bring every single thing. So it is.
it is a nice little park. I don't think I'd want to spend a couple of weeks there. No, there, it's good for weekends. Yeah. Like a weekend getaway. Mm -hmm. We were there with three other families. So if you're thinking about going to Point Farms, definitely go. It's a nice spot to check out. Uh, and I think you'll have a good time. And they have the best sunsets because it's on Lake Huron. Really nice sunsets. <laughs>